Hey guys, and Sendar here, just gonna go pretty much part two on these advanced tools and utensils and crafting them. Uh, this part will be the materials. Uh, you'll notice you need polished stones, which are made from rough stones, usable scantling, which is used from logs, melted iron shards, which you just melt iron, or actually, you can actually uh, get those while you're mining as well, and blackstone powder. I'll try to link to the other video which shows how to make that in huge amounts. So the only two I really haven't done is rough stone and logs. Of course the quickest way, what? always check the, the marketplace. There's almost never a time when these are actually here, but sometimes you'll notice maybe a thousand or fifteen hundred just sitting there. I don't know if it's a bug. But um, you, it's just a matter of getting lucky, but I won't wait around on that. If you do pre-order these, you're looking at at least 10,000 each, maybe 20, 25 to actually get them in any reasonable time. It's a little easier to just buy the polished stones. Remember that 10 uh, rough stone will work into one polished stone or maybe three if your processing is really high. So the price isn't that bad here. You can maybe pre-order this for 10 to 15. That way is pretty expensive too. And really only if you have no time to play is what you should do. Logs. I mean, these things are always, always here. <clears throat> so just buy them all. If that's an issue, then you can just uh, go around and gather with, the, with an axe on any tree and you'll get tons of logs. So just to do this real quick. I don't think anybody really has problems with these logs. So... I'll just do this so you know in case, I don't know, maybe there's a time when they're not available, but I never have a problem getting them off the marketplace. And that'll make your usable scan like. Now for rough stone, this is really the difficult one. <clears throat> The real problem is, I guess this block desert assumes that everyone's going to have these. Since you get them every time you gather. So they set the price really low, and no one's ever going to sell for that price. And that's why you get it in a situation where your pre orders are 10, 20, 30,000, because these are so in demand. So the only real option is to try to do pre orders. Which wait at the marketplace all day until they come up. You can just keep doing it. Just keep searching for it over and over, but I don't do that. It's too much of a waste of time. Now in the game you do have areas where you can get tons of this stuff. And Everyone pretty much tries to keep these a secret, so I'm going to show you where one is, and then I'll show you how to actually find other ones using this website we use. Should be able to get the pretty good frames through here. On the warp speed horse. You can never really ever gather enough of these. So... You just want to go out for a couple hours and mine. That'll always be worth it. You get a lot of uh, rare stones when mining at higher levels that are extremely profitable. And always, if you can, use lucky pickaxe. It's not as important for butcher knives or tanning knives or axes, really. But for mining, you really want that. Because the stuff you actually get that's rare has value. 
They're all okay, so I cut that out going the wrong way. You actually want to go to Ancient Fissure, which is a little east of Hanel. Just follow this road and go up. Uh, the one thing about the secret spots where you can get lots of stones in one place, you might run into other players. Usually if it's life skill or gather players, they won't flag. And uh, if they're there first and you try to mine, they might attack you a couple times. They probably won't try to kill you unless you keep coming back. It's not really an issue because you can change channels or just go to a different spot. Or you can just kill them. I mean, it's whatever. If somebody kills you, you know, don't get mad, get even. But it's not really always an issue, but sometimes it can be. So I'm gonna put my gathering stuff. Gathering food. Gathering stone. Now, if you do have a cat, that always makes things easier. Because you can just uh, pull this up, have the cat search for where stones are. Now, this little location here is one of the special locations. So I'm going to make sure I have a lucky axe. I'm going to start at this. Now, if someone was here recently, there won't be as many spots. It does take time to respawn. But usually, this little spot here, you'll get. You know, 20, 30, 40 nodes all in one location. It's a really good way to get tons of rust done really quick. And there's spots like this all over the game. And uh, the next part of this video, I'll put a website where you can actually just look on a map and then you'll be able to determine where these are pretty easily. And you can see I'm just going to town over and over in here. This one might have been hit recently. Because usually I get more. These actually respawn pretty quick too. Well, some of the nodes. You'll see Rainbow Stone. There's a lot of those in here. And those are really good experience for gathering. And uh, Feldspar, Iron. That's what you're really looking for. Because that's all where you're going to get the rough stone. You can see I'm just I keep going in here. You can come back to this in maybe 15 minutes, but usually if it goes about an hour, is best. Uh, this was already picked probably recently. But that's how you get well, a bunch of rainbow stones. These sell pretty good or you can keep them crafting later. But this is really the only way to get rough stone in a reasonable speed. And now I'm gonna switch it to the web page. So you can see where all these nodes are, it makes it much easier. Actually, there's a bunch in here too. And the thing to look for is just, you know, one spot where you don't have to move much. Because if you're going running around gathering. Okay, hopefully this is working. We want to go to bddatabase.net. Go up to the stop here. Rough stone, which is uh, what we're looking for. You can actually do this for any item. Down here, you want to click gathered from. And then you can see the different kinds of nodes that actually drop this. I think that's all there is. So this is uh, iron nodes. See it drops iron and rough stone nodes. So first I will click on that. And then you'll see you'll get these circles. And the closer to red, the more there are concentrated in a certain area. And then you click on when you zoom in. I know people are really into their private, you know, rough stone spots. So I'm not going to mention any other than the one I did. But um, to find them, you're going to want to look for high concentrations in a certain area. And you're going to get 
It's going to show all the different possible locations you can get these. Now this is just iron ore, remember? So you can see just outside of Hedel, if we got this road, along this road, you're going to see tons of them. And if you see a huge cluster, you'll know that that's a secret spot. You know, it has 20, 30 in one spot. This is pretty much the only, well, the best way I've found to get rough stone. It is time consuming if you're not going to be able to AFK this, unless you need to pay crazy amounts on the uh, marketplace. There is some mobs that also drop it. Uh, Magulus mob, it's a boss mob. I mean, you're not really going to get that much though. You're going to need a full party. You might get a couple hundred for scroll runs, but the drops aren't that great. So you're probably going to be using different scrolls anyway. But this is the most effective way I've found. If you've got something better, um, yeah, please tell me, because I always need these things. But I do know, you know, where there's about seven spots around the uh, hideout. So for me, it's pretty easy to get 500 to 1,000 pretty quick. And if you just use this, bddatabase.net, and do the rough stone, it's pretty easy to figure out, you know, where the best mining for these is. And of course, if you want something different, you know, not iron. Like if you wanted copper, then you just click granite. It's going to do the same thing and show where all the granite nodes are. You can see, this is probably the most highly concentrated area here. And then you can just go from there. So I hope this helps everybody. And uh, hopefully these guys will add more ways to get rough stone to make this a little easier since it's used in so many things. And this will definitely be um, the choke point on your alchemy tools and cooking. But I've honestly never really had a problem with it. But I've had to put the time in to go and get the stuff. So if you get those special notes, secret notes, you'll be fine. Um, if this helps you, I like the video and subscribe, and I will see you next time. I'm trying to get another video out today, so next time.